sign. You want to stand under the sign? Yeah. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> There's the trail oh. sign, and there we are. <laughs> Y'all get low, so because you're. Is this a video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, we're done. Let's get started. Oh. Let's hike this. Is big. Oh. Amazed at this scenery. Oh, it's coming quick. I think it's coming quicker than normal. <laughs> Has up. It's amazing. Now you're on long, boring trails, staring at beauty all day. Right? 1535 from the from the trail head. I think we're above 2,000 feet. So we have uh, three to go. Uh, 2156 rise from the parking lot and at 73, 72 feet. Nice. Ooh, the aspens. Oh my gosh, we just hit 3,000 from the trailhead. Killer, we are at uh, 8,201 feet total. Absolutely. Um, it says it's a 13% grade and we've gone 5.79 miles since we left the trailhead. Grand Basin. So tired. Time to say goodnight. Michelle's getting ready for bed, and I am ready to sleep. <laughs> Man, my fashion statement. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> so loud. So loud in this quiet place. Yeah, like you and I talking. I'm this talking way. to the camera like this, <laughs> and you come in all screamy, yes. all chipper. I am chipper. Yeah, because we get to sleep now. I know. Yeah. It's gonna feel so good. <laughs> it is really good. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Michelle has found a new technique. All through hikers and avid backpackers should learn if you are. Camping on a marsh, yeah. a floodland, and it has grass. You can easily clean off the bottom of your tent by dragging it around for 10 minutes. It's getting your cardio for the morning. Cardio, because like you know you won't get enough cardio during the day. <laughs> it's genius. So Michelle's overly excited that we just bushwhacked and found the trail so quickly. And this is just her nature. She gets really overly excited about the smallest thing. It's cute. It's okay. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, oh, dear, dear.
video. Just, I just wanted all the home viewers to see how helpful I can be. That was incredibly helpful. I'll toot my own horn. Now I made that twice as hard for Michelle. Good job. Thank you very much. Hey, it's teamwork. Yes, yeah. The, like one team pulling against the other. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my goodness. And I... So beautiful. That is a bighorn sheep maybe. Oh, oh my gosh, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's so... <laughs> <laughs> That was the best optical illusion. Ever. Incredible. That was so funny. Okay. So we got to X that off our list. We did not see a bighorn sheep <laughs> so far on this trip. This is a big deal. We're going down. We're going down. We're starting a 5,000 foot descent. There are muscles in our legs that are going to hate us. Somebody should talk about more of the details of the tricks this trail has up its sleeve. But, but they lie, they lie, they lie. And we are being brutalized by this trail. We are so excited about the big descent. And then, no, brutal uphill. There's like a million tent sites here. Okay, here's that five mile marker. What? We should be at like three miles now. They lie, they lie. Remember, this is the start, of the actual start of the big downhill. So now we got thousands of descent and this is it. And we are happy to finally be on it. We think we're happy. Thunder shower overtook us yes. and we are suited up and ready to continue the descent. Awesome day and a long day and we're gonna be super stoked to be in our beds. But I did really well with that and so then I, I started finding out that I don't film you making oatmeal because that sounds fascinating <laughs> the world wants to know how, how is it done okay so we're off uh at whatever time this is i don't know uh we are at uh a nice comfortable 10 a.m 10 a.m which so, after what we last night yeah we we just let ourselves have a late start and uh so we could just not feel rushed and our bodies could recover a little bit from yesterday because our bodies felt it all right see you in a bit Copper Creek all the way up to the junction. I've never seen in my life, so this is all new to me and it's really it's supposed to be pretty epic. Oh, hold on. So here, Middle Fork of the Kings River. That was super refreshing. We feel fresh, fresh for the day.
We just soaked our shirts in the water here and our bandanas, and it feels so good right now. It's probably getting up to 90 degrees in this valley and totally exposed full sunlight. So this is gonna help us for a little while when we get out of this shady creek. First snake. Let's go. tired yet. We're not tired yet. Wow. It's just so big. Oh. I'm done. Finally, we found something <laughs> pretty on this trail. Look at the berries. Oh boy. This has got to be the last, the last push. So this is what we would call an official bushwhack.
flowers and ferns. Ooh, that looks good. Very nice. Dinner time. We just finished the most amazing dinner. Oh, yes. And we wrap our bear cans in a smell proof Nile fume bag. Yeah. And then we take them off away from camp. What are you doing up so early? You're supposed to be sleeping in. No. <laughs> it's so pretty. And what do you do on your phone? You don't get any reception. I was taking a picture. Ta-da! Trying to push this rock out of the way. I know, I know. I'll help you in just a minute after I, I'm done filming it. <laughs> Southbound on the Pacific Crest Trail, heading towards the Golden Staircase, and then Mather Pass. Nothing, <laughs> nothing.
is so cool though. Good catch. How's the tortilla soup? It is freaking amazing. Couldn't have been better. That's so good. <laughs> We're getting rained on, but the sun is right there. Oh yeah. Guys, and that's Mather Pass right behind us. What do you got there for breakfast? Uh, this is a vanilla latte thing. Oh, how nice. Yeah. And open. Living in luxury. It's not a bad view. No, it's okay. <laughs> Good job, guys. Both tripped at the same time. So what did you think of that hailstorm? That was crazy. So we're looking the way we came. We almost can't see Mather Pass anymore. And we're trying to go for Pincho Pass and make it a two pass, a two pass day. And uh, we can do it if the weather allows.
morning or afternoon, whatever it is. <laughs> Dave, it's a pleasure to meet you, Dave. That's awesome. Enjoying your videos along with your daughter. Oh, right. you watched that. It was tough, yeah. I love she it. was. Oh, I think okay. I watched most of your stuff. I'll look forward to this one too then. Yeah, oh, yeah, this yeah. is going to be a big one. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Good to meet you too, man. Enjoy your video. Thank you so much. We're embracing the brutality and we're so close to the past. Oh, we are so close. Two passes in one day. Hey. Hi. Hey. That was a hard day. You did a great job. That was good. Yeah, it was two passes in one day in freezing, icy rain and wind. How is the Texas State Fair chili? Mm. <laughs> this is not an advertisement, but we love packet gourmet. Oh my gosh, I am very impressed. I'm very impressed. That is like a whole other level of, if you're gonna buy backpacking food, Try packet gourmet, yeah. and we get to relax now as the sun sets. I'm taking the photos in the early morning. I'm hoping to get a good sunrise, but I don't see it happening. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, we're ready to go, right? Yep. So good. We're climbing to Ray Lakes now. She's not just a cousin, she's a monster cousin. She said, yeah, let's do the big loop. Let's go over up to Ray Lakes and over Glen. Why not? Yeah, so it's that time again. Yeah. We'll have to see what Glen Pass looks like. Lightning thunder can't go over. So, I can go first and check how slippery it is. Yeah, You'd be happy to let me? Oh, you said let you go first. I, I did. No. What? Ren, you just, just like that. Yeah, that's Steven. 
Why don't you go, ladies first on the slippery tree. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Um, the sparkles are falling. Oh. I know. Beautiful. Start in Glen Pass at 5 p.m. But you know we have the, oh, pretty. Say hi, camera. Hi, camera. Okay, so this is our last night. <laughs> I just thought we'd say something. It's our last night. We're on the, we're, <laughs> we're perched on the edge of a cliff, it looks like. We don't know because we got here in the dark. Mm. That but, sounds safe. <laughs> yep. So this is our last night yeah, in the Sierras. It's so beautiful. Yeah. I don't want it to end, but that's okay. So good night, cousin. Good night. Thanks for taking me. Oh, thanks for coming along. It's been great. It's been really good. Night, John boy. <laughs> Day. Uh, we made the push over Glen Pass last night, even though we were really beat. But this sets us up so we have less work on our legs. The descent is a long way. It's all basically descent now from here to Road's End, except for the 1.9 miles of flat after the switchbacks at the bottom of Bubs Creek. But uh, this will be great. Michelle will be able to see. Uh, these great views of Charlotte Lake. And then the drop down to Vidette Meadow is beautiful. Seeing the whole valley and looking back up towards Forester Pass. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a great day. 
someone's ready to go. And camp is clean. sign that we got to on our day hike. Road 10. That's where we're going. Just filled up here at this beautiful, beautiful drainage. And we're heading down to Vidette. Stop talking about food, restaurants. <laughs> we are so hungry for town food on our seventh day. So we're down at the dead meadow. So We're pretty tired. My feet are burning. We're gonna stop for lunch pretty soon by the water and soak our burning, tired muscles. That's all. What are you eating there? This is the margarita pizza and it's really good. Margarita pizza mix, your flour tortillas. Mine is in here still cooking. It's right here where we are sitting was my campsite and also Audrey's campsite. Mine when I did the Ray Lakes loop solo and hers when we did this section together on her first backpacking trip. And after we eat, we're gonna go sit in the water and ice our Look legs. Look at this wonderful goodness. It is really good though. It tastes delicious. So we ate lunch at the Sphinx Creek Junction and we took a dip in the river, sat in, iced our legs, filled up water and now we're doing the four mile descent, two miles down and then 1.9 flat to uh, Road's End. Almost. 
right there. And then ours, Copper Creek, is just on the other side of this. We went up that. have a day off. That doesn't even cover what we did. I know. Not even close. We went all the way up here. Easy, easy. No, <laughs> no destruction of government property. You're a little, you're a little vandal like Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the ranger station. Audrey, remember we got our permit here? I'm doing the feet. The thing everybody hates. Looking down at feet in the video. I just did it. She made me do it. <laughs> That's it. We did it. Okay. Now say that again, only less corny. <laughs> Lock the door and put them old records on 